I'm spending $100 at the UFO Arcade to try and win and pawn prizes worth more than $100 than getting all scratch tickets. Can we profit? This is it, drum roll guys. Oh my god, a fish would complete the challenge right here, last ticket. Welcome back to the Coin Game Gaming Goobers, good to have you here. We're going to be spending $100 UFO Arcade. Watch till the end to see if we can make a profit on the scratch tickets after everything we pawn. So this arcade's got a nice variety. They have go-karts in here, but we're going to be focusing on the arcade games. And we'll see what we can get with our tickets, spending the whole hundred smackaroonies in here. Got some really neat games, so let's see uh, if we have any luck today. Let's see if we can win a cow at the cow claw machine. Dude, where's my cow? All right, here we go. Uh, I'm thinking maybe him right here. Let's see if we have any luck here. Oh, oh, what you doing, Claw? Wait, it might tip him up in. Oh, that would have been insane. We got him anyway, though. Wow, that was not expected. Oh, we got another play, too. Dang, I might just go for him right here again. I kind of wish it just, like, had a little laser on the Claw, like, where you're aiming. Because you can use angles, but it's real weird. Like, you have to use the camera to do it, and sometimes it makes it janky. Stop swinging, Claw. Dude, this thing has, like, a... It's just like one of those, remember those pendulums you used to get at freaking in the mall? At Spencer's, it had that, you put a battery in it, and it'd just go forever and ever. That's what that was like. We stabbed the cow. Oh, we tipped him in. Nice. Sick. Let's claim those. Those might actually not be worth a bad amount of moolah to pawn. The only problem is they take up inventory. Let's try again for a cow. I'm thinking this guy right here. By the head. think I missed him like a doofus. Oh, no, we got the other one. I did not mean to go for that. And nice. Sick beans. Get another play here. Now we got this little gap. So I'm going to maybe see if we can grab this one. Yeah, it is hard. Oh, I totally missed them. <laughs> we got another one. Uh, hey, that's not too shabby. Get him out of there. And uh, inventory that sucker. Clock tower, baby. So this one's like full tilt. This one's really tough here on the coin game. Because, like, you, you use your keyboard and it's just, like, it's so tough to to get it on the one you want, you know? You got to rock it. Ugh. Oh, the 500's there. It's in a different spot. Oh, crap. Well, good to know. <laughs> I almost went for the regular spot. Oh, we got 25. Yeah, that's a tough one. We'll try a few on this one. Oh, crap. And you got to make sure that thing up top is all settled. All right, let's go for this one right here. I don't have a strategy for this one. See, I'm used to the one in the actual arcade, and it's totally different. Oh! Oh, my God. I was one edge away from 500. Bruh. Make sure we grab our tickets. Let's see if we can win some tickets at this. It's kind of like a Red Zone Rush kind of game. So there's a stick in there, and you got to catch the butterflies. You just click it, and then it, see how it goes forward. You got to knock them in here. Eh, this one's tricky. I can't find that 500, man. Where is it? I don't even see the god dang thing. Push, push, push. Okay, we got a 20. Where is that 500? It should be labeled. Oh, there's a 100. I see it right there. Do not see as a 500. All right, let's just go for the 100. Sometimes you can push two of them in. We got a 10 there. You want to go for ones, obviously, that are on the edge here, but that's easier said than done. See how they're always moving, too? So that makes it extra tricky. Oh, there's a 250 right there. I don't know if we're going to have enough time for it to come around again. We might. Oh, there's a 250 right there. And boom. Boom, boom, boom. Missed it all. <laughs> this one's tough. I think the hockey one's a little bit easier. It's going to be a tricky challenge, guys. We might only get a few tickets, so... Don't know if we'll be able to make it. All right, let's play some skee ball. It's actually not a bad game to play here. Uh, if you can just rack up them points. I'm going to try for the... You see that? What is the trick to this? Why is my ball always wonky and coming back? I feel like when you aim down, you can't aim. You, you have to, like, actually look at the thing where you're aiming. Yeah, see, because if you're looking down and shoot it, it, like, is real janky. It's tough to get an aim on this thing. See, why is it doing that? Why you do that? Please, please help me with ski ball here. <laughs> Suck. Oh. Okay, so a little bit more for the hundred. I should just go for the... F I feel like that might be easier to hit. Nah, I gotta go more. See how it, like, does that weird oomph thingy at the end? I mean, do you have to, like, really look up like this? Nah, see, that was worse. It's like this weird th angle you have to look for it to actually go where you want it to. I think, like, right here and then red. Eh, almost. Okay, that was better. Still didn't make it up there, though. But I think you get points. Like, see, I'm actually going to get 60 tickets here. <laughs> look, the ball's, like, all the way up there. Let's just try for the 50 in the middle. 
There, there. So the second yellow should at least give me the 50. Boom. Or it'll just give me 10 because I suck. <laughs> it's cool physics, though. I mean, the heck, man. Boom. We got red. There we go. There's a red for 50. All right, let's see if we can get another 50. So this is actually... I wish real ski ball was like this. Oh, that sucked. So I scored 180, and that's actually how many tickets I'm winning. That's not bad. So we're going to bowl again here. I think it's only a buck a play, too, which is not bad. This one's pretty late. We're just going to try for the 50s. I'm not going to try and get fancy here. Or something in the middle. You can't look too high because then it throws a janky. There's a 20. Come on, man. Get your head in the game, bro. Oh, a little bit lighter. So it's like, it's like the second red. So now for the 50. Okay, a little bit less. But see, it also depends on where you're looking, too. Not liking it. Okay, there's a 20. Hopefully this one's a little better than 180. It's a freak. Come on, give me the 50. Okay, there's a 40. Two balls left. Let's see what we got here. It's tough. To, see, like, why does it go janky? Someone let me know in the comments what is the trick to ski ball on the coin game, man. Apparently, it's like real life. I can't even play it. I mean, the emulation is purely accurate. I cannot play ski ball for the life of me in real life. Okay, so we got 200 on the Dizot. 200 tickets, though. That, yeah, that's really good. Oh, uh, I have one more. And that was too light. We got a 10, though. So 210. 220. All right, let's see if down de bot is uh, two bucks, though. See, it eats our moolah more. Yeah, let's see what happens. I suck at this game in real life. I was actually practicing it the other day when I was at 3RK fluffing my machines up. And I was really close. By myself, I had 460. And I just missed a few or I would have had the jackpot because it was at 500. But, oh man, I don't know. Oh my god, that was absolutely horrible. I don't know if there's a jackpot on this game or what. I got, But see, I got 140 tickets though because the points are actually the tickets, which is kind of neat. Real arcade, not like that. We will try again though. So I'm assuming the top ones are the ones you want to go for. Oh, you want to get the, the lit ones too, I think, or double. Some weirdness. Alright, here we go. Stay. Ugh. Oh, come on. What at the bottom? Are those any good? Yeah, see, those aren't worth as much. I feel like the... Yeah, see, that one's like... Yeah, 140. 150. It's a quick th good, quick thing for tickets, so let's try one more. All right, here we go. Let's focus. It's tough because you don't have an aimer on this. And you just, you're just you clicking the button, so you don't have to hold the ball back, which is kind of weird. Like, I'm, I'm thinking, like, it's like the other... The other game that's on here where you have to actually hold, or like bowler roller where you have to hold the ball. It's pretty, it's a cool, oh look, I got a two and one there. That's kind of neat. Oh, we're actually doing better. 210 on that one. 230, okay. It's not bad for two bucks. Two bucks. Collect our cheese here. Nice. All right, we got to play the Space Mermaid's pusher game, kind of like the Flintstones one. Always check sides on this because it randomizes the jackpot. See the bonus here is 290. This one here is 215, and this one's 245, so obviously we'd play this. And also the play fields are randomized too, which I think is neat. And you can load up a bunch of, you can do a $10 challenge, what we're going to do. Wish you could do that in the arcade, like the real arcade. That'd be amazing. Load them up, swipe once. There's a couple companies that are thinking of making, inventing something like that for like pusher games that they can add. I think, I think it'd be so lucrative. Instead of having a scan, beep, 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 beep. Especially on like Angry Birds, you know, where it's fast paced or Pearl Fishery or something. Boy, would that be nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, whatever you knock over is what you get, and then that's how many spaces it moves. And then if you land the lights on here, you win the bonus. So, ideally, we would want these stars here. And you can load up a bunch of coins, too. Got a 10 on the edge. That 50's working its way up here. And uh, so, obviously, the blue ones are the 100s. That's okay, so we got a couple, and you'll see the lights will move there. And then if those lights land on a stop, you win the progressive bonus. Let's see what happens here. There's a 50. We work the 50 closer to the edge. And the hunter's right behind it, which is nice. So we should be able to get that, no problem. That's instant tickets right there, too. That's nice. So, boom. 50 points, baby. And you can see here, there's our tickets right there. And then when we're done, it actually just craps out the tickets. So... 100 on the edge. Come on, lights. Oh, I think that bonus would be nice. I don't think it's a bad game to play here. Let's see. 100's there. And then, uh... If you knock out over, it might... Ah, oh, see, it goes, when it goes around, it adds a light. See how it adds it? And then it gets bigger, so it... 
Looks like the bonus stays, but yeah, look at it. We're at 225 tickets already. We did a $10 challenge. Oh, look, those 10s are ready to go. <laughs> Jump up and down. Woo! Oh, we just missed it. That sucks. All right, so now we're going to go towards the center because there's some 50s here. And we'll see if we can work that super bonus around. There's a fish on the edge. Come on, fishy. Yeah. Okay, okay. 270 tickets total. There's a lot bunched up over here. We got 250s that are bunched up together. The hunters are kind of buried, so we're going to keep going in the middle here. Okay. Oh, what oh my god. I keep just missing that dang thing. Ridiculous, man. I still, for the life of me, cannot figure out. Okay, so I got a 10. Does it move 10 spots, I think? It's so weird. I, I know the actual arcade game was different. Or maybe it was the same. I don't know. I never understood even the Flintstone one, like, how much it moved. Like, if you want a 5, did it move 5? See, there it looked like it moved 3. Unless I'm hallucinating or something, man. I don't know. There's 50. There's no way that's moving. Yeah, maybe that did move 50. Okay. Yeah, so it's however much it knocks over. That's how much it moves. Now, the coins don't give you anything, I don't think. You gotta knock these little suckers over here. See, there's a 50 on the edge. And I think there's 50 spots. So the 50 actually just brings it to where it was, maybe? I don't know how many lights are on this thing. I kind of wish they were numbered. See, I got a 5 and it moved 5. And so there is a little bit of skill to it. See, like, if I go over here and try to get these 5s instead... It might be a little bit more lucrative, maybe. See, like, there's 10 right there. And see, I got a couple... A couple more fives. Then, see, I might land on that super bonus. There's a 10. Look, I get a five now. We might get that super bonus. And there's one right here. Well, there's two right there. And they're probably going to fall at the same time, which I don't want them to do. Oh, final push. Oh, shoot. Oh, I got the bonus. Yes, I don't know how the heck that happened. Something must have fell and I wasn't even looking. Wow, look, we were down to the, the wire. That's crazy. Now, how did I how did I get more credits? Did I get it because of the tokens knocked over, maybe? Maybe the tokens give you more shots? That doesn't make sense. I don't know, man. I just play this game. I don't know what the frick I'm doing. It's such a great... Uh, what a great gaming channel I am. Plays a game, doesn't even know the freaking rules. What a dimwit. 710 for 10 bucks. Not too shabby. That was fun. Good bang. And we got the uh, super bonus too, so that was kind of nice. God, I want to get this 50. Let's just do a one, one dollar. That's how they get you. So I got 71 bucks left. Our moolah is not lasting too bad here. Let's pay attention and see if the coins actually give us more shots. Because in the real game, it doesn't. But in this, in the coin game, it might. Which actually would be really cool. Because I hate when games don't give you crap for knocking coins over, man. I hate coin pushers that you just like... Not that I hate them, it's just that I, I, I've always loved games. That's what I grew up with back in the day. Games that, you know, you, you get at least something for knocking tokens over. Come on, I gotta get that 50. Jeez. <laughs> we can't leave it, man. There we go. Nice. It just spits it out. Sometimes it flung, flungs it in again, which is insane. Choo. Eh. Oh, God, that coin was like doing freaking acrobat over here. All right. Oh, there's a 50 here. I don't know what I'm pooping around with on that on the left side. I don't know if we're going to have enough for this one. We'll see if we can work it forward here. So I knocked a coin over. Yeah, the coin didn't give me anything. Each round. Oh, if I'd read the instructions, idiots, each round gives you an extra three credits. That's neat. I don't know that the real game does that. I think that's a cool feature. Definitely entices you to play a little bit more. And knock the bigger values over. See, like, I'm probably going to have to knock this 50 over now. Because it's right there, man. Be here all day. Yeah, we got 80. All right, let's go on to something else. We might come back to that. Goober, be quiet, young lady. Trying to record a video. And you're back here. Whack-a-mole. This one actually I don't think is bad for tickets. Let's see. Two bucks though. God, I suck. <laughs> Boy, that one at IAPA, I was amazing at that. I, I just like couldn't lose. I was like Parker Lewis. <laughs> Parker Lewis can't lose here two four. Batman can suck on that. Come on, baby. So I don't know, and it's probably shown in the video. I don't know why my thing is like doing this micro freeze every five seconds. I, it's done it on no matter what computer I've had, no matter what settings. I don't know if somebody can kind of give me a pointer here on how to fix that in the coin game. 
it's kind of annoying because when you're playing it just like okay so what did we get i want 140 two bucks that's not terrible i think we can do better though Ooh, this one's a 303 i think the jackpot's the same on each side let's see if we can get it here cyclone in the middle and it will randomize too which is kind of nice Oh, one light before. Oh, bruh. Ugh. Man, this one's tough. Because, like, at least that light has, like, a trail on it. That's, it's really hard to see, like, where the actual beginning light is. Ugh. Man, I suck at this. This one's eating up a lot of moolah here. Gotta be careful. Ah, all right. I suck. It looks like a lot of tickets, but it's not, unfortunately. 30, 30, 30, 30. I just go freaking win a bunch of cows. See how much these suckers we can pawn them for. At least you get two tries. Let's try for this one in the back here. There we go. Claw's bent doing the weird bendy downy thing, but I still think we got him, though. Nice. Aw, <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> we get him again, maybe? Let's try it. The hey. That was like a good spin. That claw being weird, man. Come on, there we go. Round the neck, all violent. Oh, how did that fall? Bro, yeah, I got myself another cow. Ooh. Just gotta watch our inventory here. I don't know about Popcorn Pete, man. He's sussy. <laughs> Fuzzy bucket. So Wormhole's a neat game. And this one, I used to be able to time this, and I can't remember for the life of me where the timing is at. Let's see, it might be right there. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. What's that gonna go in? Looks like ten smackers. So you wanna get it obviously in one of the purple ones here. Oh, I see. You wanna so I gotta Oh it comes see I'm always confused on this game. So it comes out here. So I gotta do it when it's like right there. Burr. Oh there we go! 187, nice! I think this randomizes to... Okay, so yeah, now it's 144. So it was about right there. There it is! Dude, this one might be lucrative. I think we're going to stay on this a bit. Now that we got the strike point down. Look at that, 356 for 2 bucks. That's our best win yet here for our moolah. Now we're at 184. So it's about right when it's right here. There we go! Oh, wormhole. The best game, maybe, at the UFO Arcade. It's timeable, and I suck. Now, nah, we got the 50, though. I mean, you're not going to get it every time, but which, you know, it's pretty accurate physics there, man. Come on. There we go. 173, baby. Yeah. Now, what are we at? 182. We'll take it. We'll take it. Ah, oh, 70 is the better one to get, though, if you miss. 477. Hex, yeah. We got to spend some plays on this, guys. Oh, bro. There's 50. All right, so I think I gotta go to a little... You actually gotta go a little bit earlier because it hits that bounce and then it... Yeah, see? You don't want to try and get it right in. You want to give it that little bounce. You gotta do it when it's, like, right here. So, now. Bow, that might be too early. No, it's not. Yeah, look at this. Oh, now we're cooking with gas, baby. That might have been a little too late. No, that was in there. Wow. Love it. Coin game games are all skill. Oh, let's uh, definitely. Wow, 520. We're getting better. Look at this. 189 on a jackpot now. Wormhole. There we go. Boom. Nice. Let's see if we can get a four out of four. That'd be a moss. Why can't I talk today? There we go. Come on. Four out of four. Yes. There's two out of two, baby. Oh, sick. Sick beans. Here we go. Three for three, baby. This is it. Oh, my gosh. This could be a four out of four right here. Jackpot for four in a row right here. It all comes down to this. Yes. Four in a row. Dude. How much do we want that? That has to be. Dude, six, 12 for two bucks. You can't beat that crap, man. Here we go. Jackpot now. Ooh, missed that one. That one's in Atlantis at 15. Jackpot still at 175. That looks better. There we go. All right, here we go. Boom. Bar. Ooh, you missed, you doofus. Still, though, the 50 is not a bad one to get. 
right now. All right, here we go. Uh, okay, nice. Sick beans. Look at that. 199. That was the biggest jackpot we got yet. Still, uh, no, that was it. 439. Okay, okay. We got $45 left, so we're just under halfway on our challenge here, guys. And make sure you guys keep watching to see uh, how much we can pawn our prizes that we win for. And then we're going to get all scratch tickets to see if we can make more than $100 that we started with. That one, I think, is a little too late. No, that was in there. Wow. It's not expecting that one. 185 on that one. We'll take it, man. We'll take it. We'll take it. Come on, 70. Yeah. All right, here we go. And we're not in there because I missed the timing. Ten tickets. Four, still 442, though, in that sesh. That was really good. Boom. 400, 400, 600, 500, 477, 35, th almost 3756, baby. For you OGs, man. Let's go cash in our tickets so far, see where we're at. We have uh, starting with zero tickets, so here we go. And we are at so far, wow, that's a lot, 4,931. Still uh, just a little over 40 bucks left here to spend in the UFO arcade. All right, we're going to try some laser tag here. I don't know if this gives you tickets. It might. Let's see. All right, so we're on teams, it looks like. All right, here we go. I don't know what this diamond is. I thought you shoot it and got points. No, you don't. Oh, there we go. Got him. Nice. This is pretty neat. I mean, look at this, dude. It's amazing. Oh, they got me, and then it should See how it shows on my thing? You're like respawn time. That's kind of neat. Oh, my God. He got me again? What the frick? Aimbot much. Oh, come on, bro. I'm not sure what those dots up top are. Oh, maybe those are... Yeah, I don't know what those are. I got 175 points, though. Oh, shooting my own teammate. <laughs> Come on, man. There we go. Got him. This guy's freaking up up on the thing up there. What the heck is this? Oh, uh, so you have to, like... I think I'm out of lasers or something. But yeah, you only get so many shots, maybe. Why you no... Why you no fire? Oh, there must be some reload thing you have to go to or something, I think. Oh, uh, the recharge. I forgot about this. There we go. And then it recharges your thingies. Oh, your shot. Okay, your shots are that number up there. That's kind of neat. Okay. Very cool. We're learning, guys. We're learning. There we go. Now we're getting some points. Aw, oh, man. So you got to pay attention to that. That actually shows your points over there. That's kind of neat, too, on the wall. 12 shots left here. And, oh, my God. They keep, they keep aimbotting me, man. A little crowded here. A little crowded. Oh, come on, dude. Jeez. Give me a chance here. We're almost out of time. Time is up. Got one last at the last second. <sighs> oh, you actually earned tickets from that. 475, so it's based on your point. That's kind of neat. That wasn't bad for five bucks. Neato. Make sure we pick up our tickets. Nice. Jump off the stairs. Woo! Let's play some popcorn Pete, baby. What do we got? 35 bucks. We might as well do a $10 challenge. See this what this nets us here. You gotta get that timing down, just like the SpongeBob Pusher or Avengers. There we go, Popcorn Pete, baby. Yeah. Bonus plays, three free plays. We'll take it. And if you collect all the cars, you get a uh, super bonus, and then whatever ones you have are automatically added down here. So you don't have to inventory them, which is nice. See, the the black card fell over, so it counts it as one there. So really neat game. I don't know if you get tickets for tokens or bonus, play. bonus plays. And then whatever the lights on here is what you get when you get a coin through the uh, thing in the back, the moving thing, so. Okay, okay. Got the red one. You gotta get them card drops though, see that's where it's at, man. Card drop. Card drop. Oh, and it gives you a hundred tickets, that's neat. See if we can time that card drop. Can we time it? Let's see. Ooh, almost. It's weird on this one. If you rapid fire it, the light just like doesn't keep moving. See, like it. See, so it, it like you can rapid fire and the light only moves a few spots. So I don't know if that's really timeable. Got bonus plays from Popcorn Pete the Goober plays nice 
spitting out popcorn. We still have a lot to collect, though. I doubt we're going to be able to get the whole set, but won 190 tickets so far. I think if you get that card drop is where it's at, honestly. There we go. Yeah, see, I kind of timed that card drop there. So it is timeable in this. Just got to wait for it to... So not there. Right there. Oh, I just missed it. Bonus plays. Bonus plays. Come on, Popcorn Pete. See, maybe that one will give it. Nah, I missed it like a doofus. You can play a long time on 10 bucks on this game. We might get a full set. Who knows? But see, it's all up to you and that card drop, which is kind of neat. You know, it's just not like it's... It's all skill, man. See, like, right... Okay, maybe that one or this one. No, oh, I just missed the card. It's really hard to see where that light's at. That's my only gripe. See, when it does the bonus token thing, it... Why you do that, man? Oh, it's making me angry. Come on, Popcorn Pete. Come on. Come on, card drop. There we go. 100 tickets and a card drop. Let's see where we're at here. So we need blue, white, purple, and orange for an entire set. And that gives us... I don't know what it gives us. A lot of tickets, though, man. <laughs> That's all I know. Another card drop. Look at this. We need that orange. Or no. Yeah, that's the one we need. We need that orange one. I don't know. That might be a red. We have that one. Nice thing is, is it saves it. So, like, if you're in a mode or even if you're, I think if you're in survival mode, too. it. Uh, another card drop. Dang. Oh, we need that one. It'll uh, save, like, what you have in here even if you leave the machine, which is kind of neat. Now, I don't know if you switch machines or if there's like different ones over there. We'll have to see if these carry over. Well, we're getting a lot of card drops here. 32 credits left. Remember, we're spending the whole 100 bucks. We got 25 left, guys. And we're going to get some prizes, pawn them, get all scratch tickets, and then see if we can make more than $100 that we started with. Wow, look at that waterfall of cards. Dang. Okay, so we need a purple and a blue. And we're going to have the entire set. We might as well go for it. Cripe. Question is, where's the blue? Huh. We got to get a card drop, man. See, we got to be timing that card drop. We can't be crapping around here. See, I just missed it again. I got the two. Man, we're getting a lot over here. Look at that. 1,200. That was definitely better than the mermaid game, I think. Well, we got a crap ton of that purple popcorn, Pete. That's a lot of peas, man. 1342. Dang. Dude, that was not a lot of bada 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 buddha. Not a bad for that amount of cheese. Ooh, there's the purple one that we need. All right, let's see if it carries over. Cause that'd be kind of nice if it did. Yeah, it does. Okay, so see, always check your machines. So this would be a different setup. No, but we still need that blue one, but still, let's do five bucks and see where that gets us. All right, here we go. Gotta get that purple one now. Popcorn Pete. Popcorn Pete. There's a card drop, baby. Come on, give me the blue. I'm gonna I'm gonna spend some more time and try and do that card drop. See, I was one away. Ooh, close. There's a card drop. Yeah, you can kind of time it. It's neat. All right, so we got orange. That look at this purple. It's like floating here, man. Ooh, this might be a card drop here. Yes. Come on, bro. What the what is this blue one must be rare then? It has to be. Look at this purple one. It's stuck. Unbelievable. There we go. Guys, I need one more card for the super bonus. Come on. We can't leave this now. I'm going for it. Screw it. YOLO. <laughs> Remember we used to say that back in 2014? YOLO! Sometimes you can rapid fire as it's coming around. See, like, like there. There we go. Yeah, nice. Come on, blue. Where is this blue card? Looks like freaking uh, Humpty Dumpty is what we need. Come on, Humpty Dumpty. Why you be rare? It's ridiculous. Get Gary the Snail easier than this. Frick. Okay, we got another card that we don't need. We need the Humpty Dumpty card over here, man. Popcorn Pete, you're killing me, man. There we go. Oh my god. Where is the Humpty Dumpty card? Popcorn Pete, you're killing me, bro. Look at this. Two card. There it is. There's Humpty Dumpty, the Dingleberry. Now, can we get it in 39 shots? 
Guys, I have 39 shots. This is the last card we need. Can I do it before I'm out of money? There's another card drop. Look, that actually might help push the one that's there. Let's see if it lands right, though. Hopefully that blue one goes pretty quick. Ooh, that might be like a shovel. There we go. Oh, my God. Humpty Dumpty, the last card we need is on the edge. Oh, my God. Dude, this is be super bonus right here, baby. 30 shots left. Come on, baby. Get over the edge. Yes! 2,000 tickets and a flush. Whoa. Guys, he could be rare. I don't know. Let's see. Plus 100 for the extra. Oh, it cashes in the extra cards. Oh, that's neat. Holy bejesus! 4,750! Dude, we might have to do a challenge in a future Gaming Matt video just playing Popcorn Pete. $100 challenge. Let me know if you guys would want to see it. I'll do it in a future Gaming Matt video. And then we'll pawn and then see that if this, how lucrative this is. Bro, Popcorn Pete, man. It was that freaking other one, though, that we couldn't, you know. All right, last credit left here. And we're out. Boom, that's it. It gave me the bonus tokens. Final push, knocking a few more. We just made 5,000 tickets. Wow. Popcorn Pete, my dude. That was amazing. All right, so we have $15 left, guys. Keep watching. We're going to cash in our tickets for prizes here at the... Uh, ticket area and then uh we'll see what we can get wow 5032 that was amazing they're coming to congratulate me nice guys look at this oh he could be worth some cheese here man popcorn peat plush okay let's play these last few and then see uh ooh, 483 i gotta go for this oh come on that was one light past oh 500 now come on bro we can't leave this there it is nice you got to aim a little bit earlier is the trick oh it's still at 500 yeah two in a row now we're becoming arcade matt whoever that goober is all right here we go oh Ooh, one light before all right three bucks left there it is another 500 baby Started off rough. We're getting some tickets, though, here towards the end, guys. Oh, I was early. That was me. All right, hey, we'll take it, though. One dollar left. So we could probably just do a game. Let's see. Let's just play this real quick. Do a 12 token, and that's it. We're out of moolah, guys. And we'll see how many total tickets we have. Take a guess in the comments. Final push here. I don't think we got Squatzilla. <laughs> nice. Oh, my Lord in heaven. Hey, <laughs> you won zero tickets. It's like at the casino when you get a bonus on a slot machine and you don't even win. It's like, great bonus! You didn't win? Crapola. All right, here we go. Total ticket amount, $100 challenge at the UFO Arcade. Wow, that was a good second session there. 14,040 tickets for 100 smackaroonies here. Let's see what we can get at the prize area. All right, let's see here. So we can get a plasma ball, a couple lava lamps. Should we get the big plasma ball? Let's get the UFO toy model. We definitely got to get a lava lamp. So we got 3,000 left. Saturn plush. 540. I don't think we can get anything else here. Oh, we can get, say, a uh, bag of stardust. There we go, guys. That's it. There's our tickets. Plus, remember, we got all those other plush. So we're going to see how uh, lucrative we are here. We got, uh, yeah, there's all our inventory, guys. So this is all we're pawning. I don't know if it's going to be a lot of scratch tickets in this, but right, we're here at the pawn shop, guys. Let's uh, see what we get for our moolah. All right, so this is everything right here, guys. Take a guess in your comments. How many in your comments, in the comments, not your comments. Well, they are kind of your comments. I hope that popcorn peat plush is worth something. These cows might be worth like maybe five bucks or something. Hopefully this, is, this ain't too shabby. And then we'll be able to see it once we put everything in on screen. We can drag this crap in here. Stardust probably not worth a lot, but crap will add up here, guys. All right, so from the $100 that we started with, we're going to be getting back from our pawns. Here we go. Drum roll. Holy crap, all of that popcorn peat plush is $150 freaking dollars. The cows are 5 bucks. That's not bad. Lava lamp was 10 too. Yeah, those cows aren't a bad thing as well. Wow! Stardust wasn't that good, but man, look at him! Bro! 
we actually made a profit at the arcade. We started off rough there, guys, on the UFO arcade, but man, Popcorn Pete saved the day, baby. 193.50. Wow, we almost doubled our money just from playing at the arcade. Now we're gonna get all scratch tickets to see. Well, can we win more than our hundred original hundred back? But can we win more than 193.50 from the scratch tickets? Here we go. All right, we're at Jerry's Gas and Go, baby, where they got the infamous lottery machine. So here we go. We're getting all scratch tickets. So we got some $10 ones, $25 ones. We're gonna, I think since we have a lot of money, we're gonna just purchase a lot of the bigger ones here. I really wish you didn't have to eat a card every time. Like I wish you could purchase multiples. We need to change it. We need to update the firmware on this machine, man. Get some 25ers there. Get some boatloads of cash, baby. Couple more $10 ones. We'll get a few fives. I don't know if I'm gonna get any of the dollar ones. If we have some extra odd numbers of moolah left, we'll finish up on the dollars. But for now, we're gonna get the, uh, the big one here. All right, so we can get the uh, three more dollars worth, and that's it, guys. And we're going to scratch them. This is it, guys, right here, our last ticket. So we got a lot of bigger values here. Let's make sure we're not losing them under the freaking machine now. Come on. We're going to start with the lower denoms first, or we'll just start with this one because that's the one it clicked. All right, $10 one. Boy, that smoke would be beautiful. You want to avoid the nuns. First three you match, first three numbers you match is what you get. So see the four has ten dollars. Ideally you want the symbol things here. So we see we want to avoid a one now. A four would give us our money back. Come on, what's that smoke, man? We want to avoid a one and a two now. And we got a two, so we got Zilcho. Not starting off strong here, man. Alright, we'll do the one dollar one here. Get them three sevens, man. Win that special prize. Even the flutter buy ain't bad. Come on. Ooh. Oh my lord. Ooh boy. This could be brutal, man. This could get ugly. <laughs> Just as I'm saying that. Yeah, you're right there. Ooh, well, double our money to a whopping two dollar. Yay! Well, hey, at least it's something, guys. The heck. All right, let's do another ten dollar one here. Ooh, come on. We need that sm Oh, my God. This would be amazing for 40 bucks. Oh, we got. I, I really don't want that three. Come on, where's that smoke? Uh, oh, I really don't want the f three or the four either. Oh, where is that smoke? Man, we don't want a one now, so we have a lot that we can't click here. Ah, man. Boy, that f that was starting off real good, too. What a sin. What an absolute sin. All right, here we go. We might get a bone. Ooh, three sevens gives you 25 smackaroonies on a $1 ticket would be amazing. Yeah, we got our money back on that one. All right, here we go. Let's do a uh, $5 one here. Ooh, spade for 20 would be beautiful. Come on, spade. Come on, spade. Oh, my God. We are not having luck on the tickets right now. All right, let's try a boatload of cash, 25 smackaroonies here. Boy, we are not starting off good on this one. Ooh, I'll take a trunk full. We can't, uh, we can't get a one or a two. Oh my gosh, this is brutal, man. I, I would play again if I were you. Oof. Oh, oh man, another boatload. Here we go. Come on, give me the trunk full at least. Would be nice. Oh, this would be beautiful. Oh my god, the fish would be even more beautiful. Oh my god, the fish for a hundred smackaroonies. This would break us even with what we started with, guys. Uh, where's that fish, man? Mm. Yes! Okay, we'll take it. Take a trunk full, baby. Doubled our money on that one. Ooh, we needed that one. All right, here we go. All right, so let's do a uh, $5 one here. Uh, come on. Where's them big symbols at, man? Where's that clover? Clover would be nice. That might give you... Clover might give you 50. <laughs> give me... Uh, man. Okay, we got our money back. Hey, at least it's something. We're up to 61 bucks. All right, so now we have all 10s and 25s left. So we're going to save the 225s for last and start scratching some of these $10 ones here. It would be nice to find the fire. There's some water for 10. Ooh, we got to avoid that one. And the Ooh, come on, water. Train on the water, boat on the tracks. Oh, my gosh. Down to crapper we go. All right, here we go. Another $10. Oh, the smoke would be nice. The smoke would be nice. Oh my god, I hate that. Look, I had the... Ugh, I don't even want to talk. I'm so disgusted, man. I had it, bro. Oh my god, Hot Fire would win us this challenge immediately. Could you imagine? We would be winning more than everything that we started with. I'll even take the smoke for 40. That's 4x, man. Come on, where is it? I'm getting all intense here. Oh, where is it? Right here? Ugh, we gotta avoid a 1 and a 2 now. 
Oh, come on. Come on, hot fire. Oh, how close we're getting, man. Oh, that was nice. Man, 250 you can win on that. That's a insanity. I don't know that I've ever even seen that symbol on this one. Water. Yeah, we got our money back on that one. So right now we are at 71 doll hairs. Smoke for 40 would be nice. That would put us over what we started with originally, which would, which would be really cool for the challenge. Come on, I'll even take the smoke for even water. Train on a water boat on the tracks. Oh my God. Train on the water, zilch on the scratch. All right, so we still have our 225s. So this could be the, this could save the day here, guys. Jeez, come on, Smoke, where are you? Why you be stupid? Oh my God. <laughs> oh, this is it, guys, right here. The 225s left. We're at $71. We didn't even make back what we started with yet. We have, we are down to the two right here. This is it. Oh. A trunk full would at least get us back to where we start. Okay, 1250. At least it's something. 8351. One ticket left, guys, to at least break even to what we started with here. Oh man, we were so close on some of them though. The 25 would break it would put us just o over, I think. Yeah. Oh my god, the fish would would do it right here. Oh, this is it. Drum roll, guys. Oh my god, a fish would complete the challenge right here. Last ticket. I'll crap myself. Oh, we got to avoid a two. Oh, where is that fish, bro? Ooh, I'll even take a four. That'll at least give us the hundred. Where would that? I'm going to go right here. Oh, oh my God. It's so intense. Where is that fish? Right here? Oh, no. Oh, son of a biscuit. Son of a freaking dog biscuit. So guys, in total, we ended up with 83.51 from the original hundred dollars that we started with. But we at least made a profit on the arcade session of almost two. We almost doubled our money in the, at the UFO arcade. That was amazing, that popcorn Pete. Let me know what you guys think. Suggest more coin game challenge videos uh, that I can do. I think that might be a cool one to do the popcorn Pete just to see how much that gives us. Because, man, you get that whole set. Whew, he's worth a lot of cheese there. Gaming Matt, drop a sub if you're not subbed, guys. It's just extra gaming content. Arcade stuff's going to resume normally on my regular arcade channel. Uh, this is just extra content for you guys. And uh, like we always say, thanks for gaming. Train on a water boat on the tracks.